What's happening? Suburban hiker kicking rocks on day 40 of my 500 mile walk. And this is mile number 112. There are three trails here, red, yellow, and green. Their trailhead is all at the same spot. We are parked over here. We're gonna come up near the visitor center and we're gonna hop on the green trail today. We're gonna take that around the outskirts of the park for approximately 2.2 miles. I've got my non-resident day pass. That was $5, let me zoom that up in here for you. That was a $5 cover charge, totally worth it. I'm only gonna be here for about an hour-ish. Hour but that's money well spent. That money goes towards the care and upkeep of the park. Map my walk shows zero distance, zero duration. Let's start this workout. Before we get too far along, I'd like to ask you to quickly subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, and remember to leave some comments before you go. We now return to our regularly scheduled programming. I love me some vines. What is happening, everybody? Uh oh, looks like there's... There we go. Here we are. Today is Friday, May 3rd, 2019. It's just after 12 noon. Approximately 50 degrees. And look at that, the sun is coming out. It has been raining for days. The humidity is still up there. My beard's, beard's going crazy, all jacked up, but we're on the trails here at Madeline Bertrand County Park in Berrien County, Michigan. As I have been mentioning in most videos, spring is springing. Look at all the green breaking through, filtering the sunlight out. Summer's on the way, people. It's on its way. I can tell you in a brief overview of the park, Bertrand County Park has multiple miles of trails for hiking. It has contemporary playground area for the children. It has disc golf for the... Sorry about that, I got sidetracked. I saw a deer hopping through the woods. And I was hoping to uh, be able to document that. You know I have a fondness for the deer when I see them in the wild. I like to get video footage of it. They are an awesome creature. And I like to see them. Uh, anyways, as I had mentioned, they have this golf course here that's fairly popular. They offer biking trails and such. It's a fantastic little park. You should do your research. They also have shelters and pavilions for public use. Google them up. And of course they have park benches placed intermittently on the trails for those of you who would like to take a rest in your travels. It is so nice to see the blue skies and sun shining. We've had four or five days of rain, maybe more. A little bit of flooding. For those of you who saw my little walk at St. Patrick's Park the other day, you'll know that part of the trail was flooded out and I had to reroute to get around. For those who don't know, Bertrand Park is unofficially connected to St. Patrick's Park. Again, do some research on the internet and you will learn that the two parks at one time were one. Yep, they split apart. They had their differences. Google that. It's a pretty interesting story. I am sure you will agree. It is another great day to be on the trails 
regardless of where those trails are. While it is around 50 degrees, there is just the slightest of breezes. It keeps it kind of cool. I am wearing a pair of shorts. Pretty shorts, can you see them there? One, one shirt, it's long sleeve. And of course my hat. I'm thinking about taking the hat off. It's getting a little sweaty. Maybe if I was gonna do an extended hike, I would. But I'm only gonna be here for a little bit. That's all I have time for today. marshy area we're about 50 feet above that a lot of standing dead trees out there this park does run alongside the st. Joe River and this part of the green trail and yellow trail uh, also run along side the st. Joe River going down a, a decline here get us closer to the river level are still on the green trail and I'm even walking in the direction suggested. I've always found it interesting just how sandy this part of this trail is here alongside the river edge. Alright, the green trail goes to the left but we're gonna come off to the right. There's an observation deck over here. I'm gonna go check that out and then I'm gonna go hop back on the green trail this is part of the yellow trail which follows alongside the uh, st. Joe River a little further the green trail goes back up into the woods and here is our little observation deck cool stairs leading up the trail got a couple benches it's our st. Joe River freshly muddy from all the rain we've had. Water level looks awfully high. I don't know if you can see this across the river. I'll just try to zoom in. The trees that are in the water over there. And of course you have a few residential houses on the other side of the river. That would be nice to uh, have a house over there as long as it doesn't flood out too much all right we're going to go back to the green trail and then our green trail has an incline of about uh, 35 foot probably 40. it's a mini a mini switch back that way you don't have to climb straight up a hill not that it's a big hill or anything but you know if you're just out here for a leisurely walk you, know, you don't want to climb a 30 foot hill Maybe not. A little bit of runoff here. And we are at the top of our hill and we're going to continue to the right. The way these trails are laid out, as is the case with most county parks, there are connecting trails that will take you back to the parking area. 
in case you get tired of walking and decide to call it quits. Here we have one of the park's shelters. It uh, appears to be called the River Shelter. It has a fireplace with wood stacked up, several picnic tables, and an observation deck. We'll hop up there real quick and take a look around. River Shelter. I hear some toads going at it, making their toad noises. I also hear a lawn maintenance service in the distance on the other side of the river, mowing lawn somewhere. There we are. We're probably about 65 foot above the river level there. Some shinglers across the river. See that? Let me zoom in. England working on a roof there goes a heron whoa you see him those herons are beasts I know they decimate my pond this is the heron will definitely tear into my fish if they can all right back onto the green trail Quick note though, here's a little path, paved path, back to that shelter for ease of access. And of course, many of the features of the park are handicap accessible. A little park bench overlooking the river. Again, they have several of those benches throughout the park on the trails, placed intermittently. And we are coming back to the trail that takes us back to the visitor center. So it is just about time to wrap this day up. And the volleyball nets here near the recreation area of the park. A couple horseshoe pits as well. There's one there and then one over here. A quick shot of the playground area for the littles. That is uh, sandy around that playground set. And there's a couple small trails. If you really want to take your kids out on a very short hike, there are several of these picnic tables and stationary grills for use here at the park. And they have hot coal pits for you to put your hot coals in. All right, here we are back at my vehicle. We went, oh, well, can you see that? 2.36 miles we're gonna call that two miles which puts us at mile number 113 that leaves us with 387 more miles that's not a whole lot of miles especially if I start walking farther faster anyways very quickly one more reminder to subscribe to the channel ring the bell for notifications drop some comments below and share this stuff on your favorite social media platform thank you so much this concludes day 40 of the 500 mile walk suburban hiker we'll see you tomorrow